child. This is Wendy Hardnack at Hardnack Farms, and I'm going to share something with you I didn't get to share with you last year because we were in this drought and didn't get any. But we, my husband brought home some morel mushrooms, and what I do is I put the morel mushrooms in a bag with some water shake it real good to clean the mushrooms and you get all this that's full of spores and I'm being real careful down here because we do have rattlesnakes and what a perfect spot for one to be hanging out and I'm in my jammies and flip-flops cuz I I got tired today so I was out there um, planting and I just wanted to come in. So here we go. I'm gonna set that down. This is super windy again, as usual. Nothing new. And what I'm gonna do is kind of disperse the spores all throughout here. We're supposed to be getting rain here any minute now, actually. Um, we kind of built this little shelter with some, um, just some scrap metal for the turkeys that hang out here on the farm. And when we had that ice storm that stuck out, it kind of broke it right there. But I was thinking, you know, how we would do it if I just plug it. Sounds crazy, but I just fling it like that. And just fling it real good and just disperse it. And it'll rain really good. We got rain today, 60%, and then 100%. So I'm sh they're pretty sure that we we're going to get rain. So I'll take that um, and just put it under here. I've done this every year, and each year we get more and more mushrooms. Those morel mushrooms are amazing. And this seems to be the spot where they really like to come here and we find them growing up under there so you do have to compete with the wildlife like the deer and such will eat them and so we just throw them down up under there and each year I throw it in a different area all up and through here and then when we harvest them we repeat the whole process over again and you can see the wildlife that hangs out up under there. And then we just take the morel mushrooms, we harvest them, we put them in a Ziploc bag with some water, seal the bag, shake it real good to clean it, pour that dirty water into like a bucket or a bag like this, repeat that process probably five or six times until your water gets pretty clear when you're cleaning your mushrooms. That gets all the soil and dirt out of the mushrooms. And then you just throw the spores up under here. And each year we just get more. It's incredible. And um, that's just something you can do to keep perpetuating your morel mushrooms so that you don't lose them. They're amazing. Oh, they are so delicious. All right, y'all, just a little tip and trick from Wendy at Hardneck Farms. And I hope y'all have a blessed day.